Hey, what is up mortals? It is Trina here with a new video for you. In this video, we'll dive into Naruto, Fire Jutsu, and the weakest one. I just wanted to greet you guys by saying just sit back and relax. You're in for a treat. So, let's get started. In today's deep dive, we'll be exploring any important aspect of the Naruto universe, specifically Jutsus. More specifically, we'll be listing out Fire Ninjutsu from weakest to strongest. For the uninitiated, however few they may be, Naruto is a shonen action manga and anime about a young blonde ninja named Naruto Uzumaki. Naruto is hated by his village due to his connection to the nine-tailed fox spirit, a demon responsible for much death and destruction on the day of his birth. Despite their hatred, Naruto's dream is to one day become the Hokage, the leader of the village, and earn everyone's respect and acknowledgement. In the world of Naruto, the ninja can use amazing powers called jutsu through the use of chakra. These powers, called jutsu, have three basic types, ninjutsu, taijutsu, and genjutsu. Today we'll be focusing on a specific type of ninjutsu, katon, or fire release. Fire release is a general term for all jutsus they use and manipulate fire through chakra. The reason we're being so specific is that there are tons of jutsus, so if we try to cover them all, we'd be here all day. But with all that out the way, let's begin ranking fire release jutsus. Jutsu in Naruto are normally graded with ranks, going from E rank to A rank, then going to S rank for the most powerful jutsus. Fire release is primarily used offensively. The majority of fire release jutsus include the user netting the chakra in their body into flames, the user breathes from the mouth. Fire release jutsus are especially used in Konohagakure, with notable clans of the Uchiha and the Sarutobi clans having a big focus of fire jutsus. Perhaps matching with the advanced skill required for nature of transformation jutsu, the weakest known fire style techniques are C rank at the least. Before we list these techniques, there are a few caveats. We will only be mentioning techniques that are shown in the manga and anime. The video games have tons of other fire jutsus, but those are harder to categorize. We will start with the most basic of fire techniques. The Great Fireball Technique is a staple technique of the Uchiha clan used by Sasuke Uchiha, Itachi Uchiha, Obito Uchiha, and Madara Uchiha. The technique requires the user to net the chakra in their body, transform the chakra into flames, and then expel the flames from their mouth. Like most other jutsu, the more chakra they use, the larger the flames. Sometimes, the flames lack shape and burst out like the jet of a flamethrower. Other times, they can be formed into a massive ball of flame, powerful enough to crater the ground, vaporize its surroundings, and badly burn any opponents caught in its vicinity. The technique is required for an Uchiha clan member to be considered an adult of their clan, and in the manga, only Uchiha ever used this technique. The next move down the list is the Phoenix Sage Fire Technique. The user spits out a volley of small fireballs into the air. It at first sometimes can look like one large flame splits into many small flames, which then move wildly through the air, potentially mesmerizing targets as they are surrounded. Each flame can be controlled by their summoner's chakra, allowing them to seek out their target. Not only is the technique difficult to dodge, but weapons can also be hidden within the fire, adding unique danger to the technique. While it doesn't have the same lethal power as the Great Fireball Jutsu by itself, it is more versatile and can throw even a skilled enemy off guard. The Fire Release Dragon Fire technique causes the user to spit flames from the user's mouth at, like a dragon's launch forward in a straight direction. Upon contact, the area is engulfed in flames. While the Fireball technique will burn everything in the vicinity, the Dragon Fire technique is more narrowly focused on its initial target. Think, the difference between a sniper rifle and an RPG in a video game. The technique can travel along lines, like when Sasuke shot them through wire strings to melt off Orochimaru's face, or it can travel from enemy to enemy, dealing devastating damage to each enemy. It has also been shown to be able to split into multiple smaller dragons of fire, striking the enemy from multiple directions. The last C-ranked fire jutsu is Flame Bullet. This technique is created when the user gathers oil in their mouth and ignites it with Fire Nature Chakra. It's one of Jiraiya's signature techniques, and when used in tandem with the Toad Oil Bullet technique, the jutsu can severely maim or even kill its opponent. The biggest advantage of this technique versus the other techniques is a large amount of power but low chakra cost in comparison. We're now moving into the B rank jutsus. The first we'll look at is Uchiha Flame Formation. After manifesting small chakra flames on each finger, the user slams their palm into the ground, which creates a cylindrical barrier of flames, enveloping a location of their choosing. Should an enemy attempt to come in contact with the barrier or pass through it, they will quickly be set ablaze. This is one of the few defensive fire techniques. Despite being B rank, it is powerful enough to deflect a punch from the eight tailed demon, the second most powerful of the nine tailed demons. The Phoenix Sage Flower Nail Crimson technique, other than being a mouthful, is the second B rank technique we'll be looking at. It is the direct upgrade to the Phoenix Sage Fire technique. 
It has a user throw shuriken with one hand and at the same time infuses fire chakra into the weapons, increasing the destructive power of the attack, burning the intended victim and any other objects caught in the vicinity. Due to the power of the chakra, the flames continue to burn, regardless of whether or not they hit a normally flammable surface. The next technique we'll look at is a fire dragon flame bullet. The evolution of the dragon fire technique has its users launch a breath of fire from their mouth. The flames are manipulated into the shape of a dragon, and then are divided to strike the target from all directions. Unlike the great fireball, the fire dragon flame bullet makes focused strikes, but every strike carries a lethal potential. Along with their strictly offensive technique, the flames can coil around the target and form two vortex, trapping an enemy in place unless they can escape through the top. The secondary use of the technique is quite difficult to master, with the legendary third Hokage being one of the few who can utilize the technique. So far, we've been looking at fire techniques, the majority of which are used by the Uchiha clan, but that doesn't mean other clans don't have flame techniques of their own. One such is the ash pile burning technique, used by Asuma Sarutobi. This technique has the user spew out a stream of chakra-infused gunpowder from their mouth which surrounds the region. The gunpowder is composed of ash which surrounds the air like a cloud. This technique is both effective as utility and offense, serving to obscure the user's vision and then ignite into a devastating explosion of flames with even the tiniest of sparks. Truly a powerful technique for a powerful strategist. Returning to the nature of Uchiha and a powerful fire jutsu comes one unique jutsu by the name of Fire Release Last Way Wall Dance. The technique has the user channel the chakra inside their body, transform the chakra into flames, and expel the fire out as a large stream. The fire begins to crawl into a spiral when the user expands their stomach, which causes the flames to engulf the opponent in a massive vortex, making escape nearly impossible. If needed, the originator of the technique, Obito Uchiha, will use a special technique to draw out a formation, increasing the strength of the fiery spiral. Fire Release Intelligent hard work is the deceptively powerful jutsu. It has a user launch a seemingly small fireball. Upon contact with any surface, the fireball erupts into a giant firestorm, causing a widespread destruction to the area. Since the flames travel along the ground and cover a wide area, technique is difficult to evade. This in tandem with its impressor power makes it a jutsu to watch out against. It was used by Kakuzu, a member of an S-ranked team of fugitive shinobi to great effect, and was often combined with wind nature jutsus to create an even more dangerous attack. The next technique in this repertoire is the Fire Release Great Dragon Fire Technique. Much like the techniques before and above it, it requires the user to gather a large amount of chakra within their body, turn it into flames, and release it. However, one of the secrets of this technique was the fact that the techniques were compressed, transformed into a dragon head shaped fireball. This flame could be skillfully manipulated and boasted extreme power. It was one of Sasuke Uchiha's strongest techniques at one point and was used in the setup for one of his most powerful jutsus, giving it both a powerful offensive and ulterior use. The next technique is the fire release Big Flame Bullet. This technique is the evolution of the flame bullet technique but boasts an additional increase in power due to the addition of a special kind of chakra. This is one of Jiraiya's most powerful techniques. Oil is generated inside the user's body with nature chakra, then this oil is expelled and ignited creating a blast equal to the power of several normal flame bullets. Much like the original flame bullet, this technique is both extremely powerful and extremely cost-efficient chakra-wise, making it a versatile technique to add to any user's repertoire. Jiraiya displayed this ability of strength when he was able to instantly incinerate a gigantic monstrous bird that was dozens of feet tall and wide, which had been capable of tearing through solid stone walls with ease. The most powerful B-ranked jutsu and one of the most powerful normal nature jutsus in the series is a fire release, Great Fire Annihilation. Since so many fire techniques we listed out belong to the Chihas, it is perhaps fitting that the most powerful of the normal fire jutsus belongs to one of the most powerful Uchiha to ever live. The technique has a user ned an almost unreal level of chakra inside the body into the fire, much like the fireball jutsu. This fire is then expelled from the body, creating what could be called a sea of flames. These flames are equally as widespread as they are devastating. The technique was so powerful that when it was used by Madara Chiha, it almost overpowered several water jutsu specialists. Water nature chakra naturally beats fire nature chakra the same strength, so it should go to show just how insanely powerful Madara's jutsu was that he nearly overpowered that deluge of water. If we were just talking about normal flames that potentially anyone could learn or master, the Great Fire Annihilation technique would take the cake for most powerful fire jutsu in Naruto. However, outside specific Keikai Genkai, which fuses chakra natures, and combination techniques with multiple chakra natures, there is one fire release technique that stands above all other flame techniques. The Amaterasu is a technique only capable to the Uchihas who achieve a special state in their eyes known as the Mangekyo Sharigan.
the Amaterasu produces black flames from any location the user stares into. This technique is nearly impossible to avoid without equally powerful defensive options or high-speed techniques. The technique can burn through any object and was said to be the fires of hell, capable of burning as hot as the sun itself and even of burning through lesser fire. The only weakness of the Amaterasu was the durability of its target. The more chakra an object was filled with, the longer it took for the object to burn, with constructs of solid chakra taking the longest to burn. This makes the Amaterasu greater than any other fire technique, as no matter how powerful the fire technique is, it cannot overcome the Amaterasu, which would eventually eat away at the flames. Following this trend, this means the most powerful fire jutsu derived from the Amaterasu is a technique used by Sasuke Uchiha, the anti-hero of the story. The technique, known as Blaze Release Kagasushi, allows the users to control and shape the Amaterasu to an extent beyond the capability of any other Uchiha, forming weapons, defensive deterrents, and even causing the flames to disappear at its own will. Fire capable of eating away all other fire, that could be controlled with ease just by one's mind makes Amaterasu the most powerful single fire technique in the series. While you can argue other techniques that include fire may be more powerful, we are looking at singularity fire-based fire jutsu. While it's true that a combination of wind and fire nature jutsu would create a more powerful effect than a single fire jutsu, the new technique created isn't just fire jutsu anymore. Thank you all for indulging yourselves in all this information thus far. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, there are a few more things that I'd like to go over before the video ends. Firstly, if you're in the mood for some great storytelling, We the Celestials has got you covered. Our We the Celestials My Hero Academia and Naruto would have channels retell the story of their namesake anime with a twist. Check it out if you're interested. Secondly, on behalf of We the Celestials, I'd like to thank everyone involved in the production of today's awesome content. Their detail can be found in the description below. Lastly, if you're interested in what we do here at We the Celestials, then I'd like to extend you an invitation to join the team. The only caveat being that we can only accept members from 16 years and up to join our crew. You can sign up for whichever category fulfills your interest by joining the recruitment discord using the link in the description below. We're always looking for members to join us. And if you want more content from me, check out my Twitch streams at twitch.tv slash trainadoheart or check out my YouTube channel as well at trainadoheart. All right, and well, that's it from us for today's video. So thank you all for watching and have a great day.